Muhammad said that if you leave Islam, you should be killed for leaving Islam. Absolutely, the Christianity is saying that, brother. Every religion is saying that. Christianity never says that. The Messenger of Allah says, whoever changes his religion, kill him. So it's fine. Like leaving religion, so kill him, that's also in the Christianity. Is no, that okay to you? No, it's not in Christianity. I'm telling you, it's in the Christianity, so just search it. Any evidence? I've searched it. I know the Bible. I've read it many times. Give me any evidence. you got no evidence, right? The fact that Islam has a threat that if you leave it, you'll be killed is another reason why I think we can know Islam is false. Because if you have no. to threaten people to stay in a religion, otherwise you'll be killed, then you know your religion's false. You know it's false. If you claim you have the truth, right? You hold the people. You need to hold the people. If you had the truth, you would not need to hold the people with violence. You'd be able to hold them in the fact that they are convinced it's true and therefore they'll never want to leave it. And that's why Christianity has no threat of violence if you leave Christianity. Because people who are true Christians stay Christians because they realize, to whom shall we go? Jesus is the one who has the words of eternal life. That's what happened. When I brought up that passage in John 6, when it had said a bunch of people left Jesus, he turns to his true disciples. Do you want to go away as well? And this is what Peter responds with. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. So there was no need for threats of violence to get the disciples to stay following with him. They were convinced of the truthfulness of it, and therefore there needs to be no threats. So that's fine. And it's a very beautiful verse, actually. I, I believe in it. But with Muhammad, the first couple of years of his preaching, not many came. He had maybe 20 converts. There wasn't many. But when he then, oh, yeah, you... but then once he changed his strategy and he started using the sword, he said, like Surah 929, fight those who believe <laughs> not in Allah. When he started mm -hmm. saying, unless you become a Muslim, your property could be plundered by me or your life could be taken from me. That's when he got more people to join Islam. Not because they were convinced he's truly the mm -hmm. Holy One of God, but because <laughs> they were fearful of their own life being taken. So you're saying that people just join Islam is for their own reasons. Let me give you a quotation. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, 25. It says, Allah's messenger said, I have been ordered by Allah to fight against the people until they testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and that Muhammad is Allah's messenger and offer the prayers perfectly and give the obligatory charity so that if they perform that, then they save their lives and property from me. So do you see the point? He's saying, I've been ordered by Allah to fight against these people until they actually worship Allah and do the charity and the prayers. And if they do that, they save their lives from me and their property is saved from me. Let me read it again. I have been ordered to fight against the people until they testify that none has the right to worship but Allah. Brother, it's come. Why you're misinterpreting it? You don't even see the, the scenes there, brother. Hold up. That's ironic. You just read it out and you just said, I'm misinterpreting it when you just literally read it out and you understood what it was saying is that they will then give the pro the protection and security to no, that non-Muslim. No, no, no. It's saying that you will not have your life or property taken from you if you become a Muslim. But if you don't become a Muslim, then your life and your property can be taken by me, Muhammad saying. So... Yeah, I appreciate that what you're saying, but the thing is, I'm not actually a scholar or something. Brother, even the Jesus was ordered to spread the truth. Are you okay with that? Never by violence, never by fighting. Jesus preached, he healed people, he did lovely things for people. Muhammad fought by violence. 